week, we will meet in Birmingham, Alabama, a very special social entrepreneur, somebody exceptional that you won't soon forget. We went down to Birmingham to work on a documentary we're doing on the Hidden Angel Foundation devoted to special needs children in multi-sensory environments. You may recall that another entrepreneur in this very room, Bud Kirchner, very successful businessman of course and twice elected entrepreneur of the year, also presented us with a, uh, a magnificent case of social entrepreneurship, the Hidden Angel Foundation, which he started with his wife Sandra Forns in memory of their child, Christopher Douglas. Well, working with Hidden Angel, we came across Dr. Edwards, Dr. Gary Edwards at United Cerebral Palsy, a special center in Birmingham devoted to special needs children and special needs adults. He is the heart and soul of that center. He's worked not only to make it happen, to finance it, but to make it function every day. He has such an affinity for people who sometimes are locked inside their bodies, have a lot to communicate, a lot to say, uh, and, and say it in ways that we should understand. It's up to us to meet them more than halfway, and he does that uh, many, many times and has done it for years. He's been there, I think, a quarter of a century. Remarkable man. Here then is Dr. Gary Edwards. Dr. Edwards, I was privileged to visit uh, uh, UCP, which you right. run, an impressive institution with uh, a great bunch of people in it. And I attended a, a concert there right. by George Canyon, and uh, it was great to see um, the animation. And I couldn't help but think, how would it have been 20 years ago or 30 years ago for those people or people like them? Not so nice, I don't think. Well, some of those people that you saw 20 years ago were living in institutions, uh, large institutions uh, uh, in a state-run institution. Um, we had tremendous changes then, since then that people, adults, uh, these were adults that you, you saw, mm -hmm. you, you missed the kids. Um, yeah. The adults um, I, I believe is a, an adult with a severe disability. A lot of a lot of the people that we serve uh, are physically disabled and cognitively disabled, and mm -hmm. some are cognitively disabled, not physically disabled. Kind of, kind of variation. But the, it's a belief that you know they can live independently. They can be productive. Uh, we have a work program that that we pay people for their employment. So. It has changed a lot in 20 years. I think there are perceptions of, of you know the abilities of people instead of looking what can't happen. We, we hopefully that we have tried to make a difference in um, how people perceive and, and, and what's what's possible. Um, we have a what you didn't see was our preschool program, our, mm -hmm. our early in, our, in which we have a, a, a daycare, an early learning center for kids with and without disabilities. And what we see there is kids looking at each other not as in a wheelchair or having a disability, but really as he's my friend. Mm -hmm. He's no different. He, he's not a different. And, and hopefully we're making a difference beginning early in life and with those parents too, so that, that everybody, every kid is totally accepted. And I think an eternal question for people yeah. in, the, in the field is how much do you um, encourage um, the people who, who, with whom you work, to integrate into either school life or working life, and how much do you protect them a little bit with a, with a, with an environment that is more controlled? Right. I, our mission is to connect people with disabilities to the community, right? and not, um, you know, I, when I when I was growing up, I had a friend, and his name was Sandy, uh, and Sandy had polio. Um, but I can never understand why Sandy would able to go to school. Mm -hmm. um, we've changed that. I, I think it's more of a given individual with disability opportunity to be involved, to go out, to be part of the community. I, I think with every child that we want, we want to protect them, you know, do as much as possible. Kids with disability, you know, how can they be out? How can we hope that they have friends, uh, that they're just another part of, of a classroom or part, so it's uh, we've made a tremendous strides. So we got a long way to go um, to to be able to make open doors for people. And do you have to when when you pick the skills that you give them? We think of skills in strictly a professional sense, mm -hmm. but it can be things like you know taking the bus, 
uh, how, how to how to how to how to get uh, from one place to another, uh, buy their groceries. I mean, all those. Uh, yeah, you it, try to instill that. It, it, it's really you know in in, in employment, we, we try to find people jobs. You know, kind of match of people to their abilities to do the job. But a lot of as we know, a lot of part of job skills is really how you get along with the people in your job, mm -hmm. how you get along your supervisor, and in, you know, can we teach people those skills in you know to stay on task, to stay at work, you know, to to have the work ethic mm -hmm. uh, and we had a great success we really have great success we have you know we work real hard to try to match a person with the job with their ability and is it kind of a graduation if one of them leaves your center yeah. to go take a job I mean, I, what do you it, do a little party is, and um, it, it's a, it is a celebration. We, we really we, that that has happened. Uh, that 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 we celebrate that that their ability to, to go out and be a part and be a part of the community. And they're also a mentor to uh, to other people. They're the example uh, to say, hey, this can happen. You know, you. And we've seen a whole change in people's perception of, yeah, I want to work. People are begging to work to be able to do some stuff. We have our own business. We do document destruction and document imaging, oh, and, right. and, okay. and, and, and create jobs there ourselves. So that's true. That's another solution but, rather than insert them in existing but, jobs is to be entrepreneurial. Really. Entrepreneurial, yeah. I mean, nonprofits this day is more difficult. The more entrepreneurial that we can be, the more businesses that we can run that would create opportunities for people with disabilities and hopefully make some income for ourselves. And I noticed there was a lot. One thing that struck me was uh, the amount of humor that goes on, <laughs> joshing each other and cutting, cutting up, and and nobody minds uh, the teasing. I mean, we you would think, well, we want to be careful here, but you, it, really, the it, 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 it's really it, it's. You know, you come to work there, the people come to work there. There's very few places where you can come to, to work and you're hugged three or four times before you, 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 you get to your office. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a wonderful place. There's not, not any pity, not feeling sorry for anybody. It's just, you know, the total acceptance of, of you as you are. And the people we serve say that, and the, uh, the staff feel that way, and you know, feel that you know, I, I'm here for a purpose. I can see you know, why I'm working, why I'm doing here, and, and how can I create opportunities for people. And there was a lot of musical talent, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can say that. I, we can say that. And dancing we, talent we, and we, so we, on. It's, it, it was, again, it's, it's just you know, joy. I mean, it is really fun. It's joy and not, you know, nobody's going to laugh at you because you come up and dance because it, it, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. And the, uh, we were touring around, showing people around. I, I think uh, uh, one of the guys that, you know, stopped was Josh. And he said, yeah, you're here to sing and I'm ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> and he was. He was. And he sang he right on the note, too. He, he did. sang he a was, duet with George Canyon. He was Canyon. wonderful. He was wonderful. <laughs> and you all, you know, for some reason, you know, and Josh has, has a, you know, cognitive disability. And somehow, some way, he knew every word to every song. That he, he, I'm told was. he knows all of Elvis. Yeah, all of Elvis. You can, Everything you can Elvis. just you know, say we, the title. We, we have, on Elvis's birthday in, in January, we've had for several years, an Elvis impersonator to come out, uh, and it was a, uh, it is a blast. I mean, everybody's up dancing. Everybody loves Elvis. And uh, Josh performs. And Josh performs. And a lot, a lot of other Joshes are up there. And of course, his Elvis is walking around giving out his scarves you know, to people, and, and, and being a part of it. And it, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. It is just fun. And as I, I went around looking for the washroom, I see these lockers. And some of them had poems on them yeah. uh, and prayers. Yeah. There were a couple yeah. of prayers, very nice prayers. Right. Um, that's spontaneous. That's not something, I mean, it's obviously. That's, that, that's those individuals. That's their lockers. It's like our business locker. I mean, we, we, we encourage things like that, the full expression. We also encourage art, you know, art to, uh, um, I think we forget that you know, anyone appreciates art and music and um, you know, we should give everybody the opportunity to, to see what, what's happening. It's really wonderful to see our kids program. We have a music therapist there mm -hmm. and see a, a two-year-old classroom sit, go, sit down and get ready for music. It's magic. Music is magic and art is magic.